Good afternoon, Libra Collective. We are going to get into your messages. These are the cards that are going to influence the day. This might stretch over into Monday as well, because usually if you do a reading midday, you'll see some cards following tomorrow. And I just want to mention one hand, the nails are falling off. So I just wanted to let you know, happy Sunday. We're going to get right into it. There's no wasting of time today. Lenormand is also going to be drawn out this afternoon to see what's in the energy. And you can have the cards adhere to your situation or they could have been the recent past. I'm going to get started here. Cards for Libra, the top three. The nine of wands is dropping. A little bit more please. Angels and guides. Five of cups. King of cups. All right, so let's discuss. The nine of wands in this afternoon reading is about a soul survivor, usually somebody overcoming something. And it's been known as the wounded warrior. I feel like they're not really that wounded. Okay, you might have learned of information. I feel that it's like 411 information is coming in. Let's check the bottom. Justice is being had. Okay, our first good luck signal. signal. Yesterday, I learned of something rather powerful in my family. We decided to look up uh, the family name and my dad found an extra relative. So we're gathering the information and I feel like it's that it's You've come across information that affects you directly, Libras, in the Nine of Wands. It doesn't, you know, this card, when it appears in energy, it's a direct effector of the situation, but it doesn't mean that it gets you down. Does that make sense? We have Nine of Wands, and I do want to clarify that because Justice is at the bottom of the deck and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? That's huge. It means you're still standing strong. Um, your effervescent and your healing too. This might have been something like what I'm getting is it was like a harder pill to swallow. I don't know why I'm getting that for mostly sing, uh, single energy. Okay, I'm going to do a quick shuffle here. Can I see what the hidden outstanding energies are for Libra to just keep in mind through Monday? Can I see that please? Maybe some good luck signals too. Show me the Ten of Cups. This page of wands is a no quitter. It's coming out as enthusiastic news. Uh, maybe even something you're going to further hear about maybe in a current situation. Uh, it is developing. There's something developing in the background because you have positive cards that outlie this whole reasoning. Okay, I'm going to put that away. Page of wands. The king of cups was here in your top three. So let's discuss him. I read about the King of Cups in a previous booklet about three weeks ago. He was a standout. He kept returning in a lot of your reads. It is water energy at the end of the day. As many of you know, the King of Cups has to have a partner, which is the Queen. And she's been missing in our other readings. Or she's somewhere else, maybe esoteric or somewhere deeper. And I like to look at it that way, as if the partner is missing in a reading, it means she's off doing better, bigger things, perhaps. This King of Cups is in your energy. And he came out on the pre-shuffle, just to let you guys know. I like to share my notes on top of what I see here. In the pre-shuffle, I saw him twice. I saw the Nine of Wands once, okay? Other cards are new here, like Justice. This is happening in the background, okay? Whether you feel it or not, uh, you could be in a situation where you're Kind of just walking away. The justice card is here forming that around you, okay? And you also are justice as a human being. The page of wands, if we want to look at it and ground the energy, this can be coming this week. We asked for Monday too. And so there is a younger, youthful energy, okay? Some of you might find that this is in career, the page of wands. And then I believe this five of cups is something that is being addressed that is lost now in the... Uh, in the current story. It could belong to the King of Cups too, okay? So let's do some clarifications. I think I'm being called to use the Witch's Tarot, so let's give it a good shuffle. Let's do some clarifications on Justice, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Wands to start. Justice, please. Can I see Libra energy? And um, I feel something here that's heavy. You could be dealing with something today or that aftermath thereof okay maybe you're just assessing too you could be very analytical today i know uh pluto moved into venus for our sign so that could have something to do with it it could be going back to creativity for you and potentially something useful you could do with your time okay because venus is where we dwell very well and pluto's visiting us there so let's see justice please can i get three cards for justice yeah queen of swords that's the heaviness i was feeling the world card and the Wheel of Fortune. So we have Queen of Swords. She's here on the shuffle. 
Uh, let me see if you guys can get a better view of it. There's the sword. It's quite hard to see the Queen of Swords today. You could feel like you have to be outspoken towards someone. Um, this may have even happened in communication earlier today. It's something about using your throat chakra. There's a lot of blue, even in the Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning, working behind the scenes. We can identify this if you like. We can go ahead and do that. What's that truth serum? What's the Wheel of Fortune? The Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning in your life, okay? Whether you've started it, um, I feel like you're coming to terms with the new beginning. Has to be done ultimately on your own. And I'm getting on your own as well. This Ace of Wands has a great attachment to it. If you look in the corner, the butterfly shows up as the insignia today. It is about transformation. Whenever you see a cocoon, larvae um, dwelling in a cocoon, there's something about that butterfly, okay? Trust the situation. I'm getting trust the process too. As that came in, Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Is there any other information attached? Thank you, like right away. The King of Pentacles. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy that might be very secretive at this time, okay? Behind the scenes, Maybe they're waiting on you, Queen of Swords, to speak up about something. And I sense that it's not so much of an action. This person does want communication, okay, in the overall. Let's look at your King of Cups. Who is that today? Who's the King? The Empress. All right. The King of Cups you could identify as perhaps you. There's the Four of Wands and the King of Wands. Perhaps you've had to turn into the King of Wands during this time and take a stand for something. It's the Queen of Swords is a very big leader in this message, okay? And she's also Libra energy. It is completely coincidental that you also have justice here, which both cards are very major for you. And that's saying a bigger message. It's saying be strong during this time, okay? And you're not awaiting anything. I feel like news is coming to you, okay? So just sit tight. This week could have a few revelations of some sort. And I didn't want to say it was an aha moment. It's revelation based. There's information coming into you, which just sit tight. I, I really believe that that's the message that's going on here. There is a page of wands in the environment and the five of cups. Can I see the five of cups too? It's a little bit harder to read for me today too. I'm just being honest. The high priestess. You're anticipating, Libra, what I'm picking up is you want to orchestrate a new beginning, okay, with the Ace of Wands, but the King of Cups seems to get in the way of some of your plans or it's in the back of your mind. Um, it's not necessarily an old person. It's a King of Cups in the environment that gets away perhaps in this situation from revealing other things that are more positive because this Five of Cups, it's like a no quitter in the readings lately and it captures overall Libran energy. It's also in Taurus lately and uh, Gemini's readings. It's been showing up prevalently. Can I see a little bit more in the Five of Cups, please? A little bit more information. The Five of Cups is the Nine of Pentacles and that Seven. I saw the Seven in pre-shuffling. The Seven of Cups is about options, okay? You might feel unsure towards them. I'm getting like, there could be a lot of questioning. There could be things here that are unsure because they haven't proven very reliable, all right? Um, there is something that is guiding you to keep talking to your intuition. The High Priest is here with Pisces melded with the Libra sign. There's something magical going on there at this time. Can I get a message for the high priestess? Some of you are legit high priestesses in your life. And I feel like you have to trust that intuition going on at this time. Your first voice, the queen of cups, another intuitive card. Okay. Trust your intuition because it's giving you soft whispers of something you need to do. That's the queen of cups and seriosity. Again, as advice to be the Queen of Cups, some reader called her boring last night, and I beg to differ. I think she's one of the most intuitive, most caring of the water cards, especially with the King of Cups. So what I want to add here is the Queen of Cups actually has the answers. The answers are built in, and I feel like something's not being trusted. What's the relationship with the King to the Queen? Both Cups cards are here, the Chariot and the Seven of Swords. Maybe you feel that there's a Seven of Swords occurring. Maybe you feel that somebody has lied, okay? 
I do feel like it's a love situation, but it can even go deeper than that. It's somebody's strategies that have become very obvious to you. It's somebody's strategies that have become very obvious. And then we also have, they have mixed signals. They come in with a lot of chariot energy and then they back off. Or that is you. I think here, this is a, definitely a message to trust what your inner voice is. Your intuition is peaking at this time, okay? You can even do intuition checks. You can check, write it down, write it in your phone. See if in the past too, it's connected to you on a certain level. Because in the background, the justice card is happening. And this is a very specific message for maybe only 20 of you that are, is definitely needing this this morning is the justice is being, hap you know, it's going on in the environmental energy. This is something you don't see, Libras, behind the scenes, is uh, number 11, which is very emphasized at the bottom of the card. I'll show you. 11, you could be seeing a lot of manifestation numbers, 1111 or 111. Uh, what's being advised is choose the new beginning here, okay? Even if it has to be self-created or it's solo or it's painful as a single. That's something that I see as well. The highest message, I'm going to get it. The challenge here today would be the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity. He's talking to a mermaid in a lagoon. And I feel like he wishes the communication was maybe even more often with this mermaid. She kind of looks like a Khaleesi. <laughs> if you guys know Khaleesi from, uh, what's that series? It's with like, a, it's in the med medieval times. I forget where it's from. Well, she does look like Khaleesi. After shuffle is the Three of Cups. Let's get a message for that High Priestess. Highest advice is the Three of Cups came back out again. And the Magician. You're to manifest something different at this time. Clarification and like very, very clear here. Everything's new beginning, even in this card. Okay, my beautiful Libras. This is the first message. We're going to travel down Lenormand. I just got to go get my book real quick. I'll be back in the next video. We also have some cool special uploads this week about, uh, we'll do more couples. We will do more singles as well. And I will return in just a few mere moments. Give me some time and I'll come back with the book.